Hey guys, I'm Murray Schwartz, that's Cole Cooper. We're about to watch Mocking Jake Part 1, and we'll be right back with a review. See you then. So every, everything about the movie is good. The, the effects, the acting, the, the production, it's, it's all great. The issue is that nothing happens in the movie. Like, you're expecting, you expect more to happen. It's just like they, it's just like they wanted to make two movies out of, out of something that really could, just should have been one movie. It's like they had a lot of money and they didn't know what to do with it, so they're like, we're gonna make two parts of this movie. Yeah. I'd give it a three out of ten. I'd give it I'd give it a six out of ten for the for the acting and all that. But really, really, the, the, what happens in the movie? There's just no substance there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I agree with Gabby. I think the movie was very exciting, but it, it also n nothing, not very much happened in the movie, and there wasn't much of a plot. But I think um, all the effects were good, and it was exciting. So I I give it a six out of ten also. Okay, we're back. Cole, what did you think of the movie? Um. It was really, really disappointing. The whole thing was a complete, you know, setup. I could name on one hand major events in the plot. Um, I don't know. It was really, really disappointing. Yeah, I I agree with you. I think the it was a very well written movie for what it actually is, and it does have a lot of good political intrigue and it talks. It gives a lot of insight about propaganda when it comes to wars. But when it really comes down to it, I think the main issue with the movie was um, the actual plot, and by splitting the book into two. I think that they got rid of a lot of interesting plot elements that could have happened to make the movie more exciting. I did like, though, uh, the way that, you know, the war became a chess match. It was no longer um, one side more on the moral high ground and the other one not. You really felt like they were both evenly matched going up against each other. Um, they were both using propaganda. They were both fighting wars. They were both um, hacking into each other. Um, it really was an equal war at this point. This has really become a civil war. This is no longer, you know, a small-scale rebellion. I did like that it had that element of escalation, but that was really the only thing that happened throughout the movie. The rest of it was really just filler, every, you know, yeah. people wandering around, small little plot elements. There was no big element there. There was nothing that I could point to that said, you know, this was really de the defining point of the movie. Yeah, and I think you can't underestimate, you can't understate the the great performances that there are in the movie. Like Jennifer Lawrence is really good as as always, but I think the thing with her character was she doesn't have too much character development from the beginning to this movie to its end. Throughout the other two movies, you see her character change and progress a lot. In this one, I think while she does give a good performance, she doesn't change that much. And there's also a lot of other characters that you've grown to love over the course of the, of the films, like. Effie Trinket and Hamish, and it feels like they're just in this movie just because they've been in the other ones, but they, they don't actually really serve a purpose. They're just there to be there. And since nothing really happens in the movie, everything just feels like a lot of filler. So I was not a big fan of the book, Mockingjay. Um, it was a lot of, it was again a lot of filler. So I understand, you know, that there are elements of the book's filler in the movie, but that's a point, you know, where you have to say, okay, we need to make the story better as a as a movie writer, as a movie director. You have to say, you know, we're gonna stay true to the story. We're not gonna. We don't have to stay true to the book per se all the time, and that we really should focus on improving the story and not just staying true to the book. Yeah, I haven't read the book, so I can't really say what I think about that, but the way that it looks to me, everything that was in this movie could have been summed up into the first 10 minutes of an overall Mockingjay movie, rather than splitting it up just to make double the profit for the studio. That, that's just how I feel about it, but um, when it comes to the production design and the acting and the special effects, I think all of that was really well done. It's a well-directed movie, and the dialogue is pretty good. There's a couple of parts of dialogue where Cole and I were actually laughing in the movie theater because it was kind of ridiculous, but overall it's a well-written movie. I just think that the main issue with it is its lack of a plot. There were certain parts where it completely lost touch with reality, where I no longer was able to sympathize with the characters. I couldn't, it, it was so ridiculous almost that it took me out of the movie. And I went, wait, did they really just say that? That seems really, really off to me. Overall, I think it was a really well-made movie with great production design and great special effects and good acting. But its lack of a consistent plot and really knowing where it's going makes me not like it as much. Um, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I think you guys are already going to watch it because it's a popular movie. But I think 
if you don't want to watch it, you can just skip it and go on to part two and you won't miss anything. Mm -hmm. As someone who read the books, um, I was really looking forward to this. I thought it would be, you know, Mockingjay was never the strongest book, but it still had some really, really interesting points. I was really looking forward to it, and I was really disappointed by it, so I'm going to take that a step down and say 5 out of 10, just because the story is there, um, but, you know, the, the movie did not really, was unable to build off of it and really um, work with it well. So, it's a well-made movie, but the story really killed it. That's our review. SJ Hyman is writing one up. You can also check that one out on lionshill.org. She has differing opinions from ours, so make sure to check that out. I'm Murray Schwartz. That's Cole Cooper. Thanks for watching LTTV. Always well a pleasure. Done. See you for the Hobbit. <laughs>